Mathematics is one of the most fundamental aspects of human civilization, and it has a rich and complex history, but did you know that the earliest mathematical artifacts in the world were discovered in Africa? This second largest continent in the world is often overlooked when it comes to the history of this subject, but the finding of the Ashango and Labombo bones from Central and Southern Africa respectively highlight the continent's deep roots in mathematics and that African people were engaged in advanced practices of this subject long before the development of a written language. Stick with the video to learn how this discovery challenges the conventional Eurocentric view that mathematics originated solely in ancient Greece and other parts of Europe, which was later transmitted to other parts of the world. Instead, it suggests that mathematical knowledge may have developed independently in different parts of the world, including Africa, and the possible African influence on ancient Egyptian mathematics. The Ashango bone is the most famous of these bones and was found in 1950 by a Belgian named John de Heinzelen while exploring what was then the Belgian Congo and was named after the area it was discovered in. The curved bone which is dark brown in color is approximately 10 centimeters long and has a pointed quartz attached to one end, possibly used for engraving. The narrowing, scraping, polishing, and engraving of the bone have made it difficult to identify which specific animal it came from, but it is widely believed to have belonged to a mammal due to its bone structure. The dating of this bone has been challenging due to the altered isotopic ratio caused by volcanic activity in the area, making its age a subject of debate. Some analysts suggest it to be 44,000 years old, while others quote 25,000 years, which still makes it one of the earliest mathematical tool ever discovered, coming only second to the Labombo bone that we'll discuss later in the video. Over the years, the Ashango bone has been studied extensively by researchers trying to unravel the mystery behind its purpose and significance. One of the most significant findings about it is the presence of three columns of markings that have been the topic of much interpretation and debate, with many citing it as proof of early counting or mathematical practices. The left column of markings on the bone consists of four groups, each containing 19, 17, 13, and 11 notches. These numbers sum up to 60, but that is not the interesting part. These numbers are four consecutive prime numbers between 10 and 20, forming a prime quad, indicating that whoever used the bone had knowledge of these numbers and their significance. This column of markings has been interpreted as evidence of advanced mathematical thinking, as prime numbers are notoriously difficult to identify and are often used in complex mathematical problems. The central column is divided into groups of eight, with some researchers suggesting that these represent a form of multiplication table. This would suggest that the bone was used for more complex mathematical calculations and not just for counting or tracking time. The right column is divided into four groups, where each group has 9, 19, 21 and 11. The sum of these four numbers is 60, which is the same number as the left column. Some researchers have suggested that this column represents a tally of some kind, while others have suggested that it represents a form of binary code, with the odd and even numbers representing ones and zeros. No studies to date entertain the possibility that any ancient people other than Europeans might have been capable of actual mathematics and abstract thought, but this discovery has thwarted these views. More recently, mathematicians have proposed that the Ashango bone is a counting tool using the base 12 and sub-bases 3 and 4, and involves simple multiplication, which is somewhat comparable to a primitive slide rule. However, they have concluded that there is not sufficient evidence to confirm an understanding of prime numbers during this time period. Historians argue that prime numbers were probably not understood until the classical period of the ancient Greeks, and it has been established in modern times that Eratosthenes, the ancient Greek mathematician, was the inventor of the first mathematical sieve for the prime numbers. Since the Ashango bone is dated at least 22,000 years old, this would mean that Central Africa precedes Greek invention of the prime sieve of Eratosthenes by at least 19,700 years. Another intriguing hypothesis about the Ashango bone is that it was used as a lunar calendar. Some researchers have suggested that these notches represent the phases of the moon, with the larger notches indicating full moons and the smaller notches indicating new moons. This would make the Ashango bone one of the earliest lunar calendars in existence. The Labombo bone, on the other hand, was found in the 1970s by archaeologist Peter Beaumont during an excavation in the Labombo Mountains, which spanned the border between South Africa and Eswatini. The bone is about 8 centimeters in length, 
and has been dated to approximately 35,000 to 43,000 years ago, making it one of the oldest known mathematical tools in the world and perhaps older than the Ashango bone. This bone which resembles the calendar sticks that are still in use by the San people of southern Africa is a small piece of baboon fibula with 29 distinct notches carved into it. The arrangement of the notches into three columns indicates their possible usage for counting or keeping track of lunar cycles by early modern humans who would have used various methods for keeping track of time and measuring quantities. Perhaps the most controversial theory about the Labombo bone is that it was used as a tool for tracking menstrual cycles. This theory is based on the fact that the bone contains 29 notches, which is close to the average length of a menstrual cycle. After John de Heinzelin analyzed archaeological findings, he proposed that the Ashango bone indicated the possibility of a connection between the arithmetic processes carried out in Central Africa and the commencement of mathematics in ancient Egypt. He arrived at this conclusion by examining archaeological evidence and drawing a comparison between the Ashango spearheads to those found in northern Sudan and ancient Egypt. Despite the many theories and interpretations about these relics, their purpose and significance remain shrouded in mystery. However, what is clear is that the bones provide evidence of the advanced mathematical thinking and skills of early humans, challenging the long-standing Eurocentric view of the origins of mathematics and highlighting the important role that Africa played in the development of this field. The bones shows that humans were capable of advanced mathematical thinking and had developed counting systems more than 40,000 years ago, also consequently challenging the notion that advanced mathematics is a relatively recent development in human history. Overall, the discovery of these ancient mathematical artifacts in Africa indicates the existence of a rich and sophisticated mathematical tradition that dates back tens of thousands of years and the remarkable abilities of early humans. It also highlights the importance of recognizing the contributions of African civilizations to the development of mathematics and other fields of knowledge.